Hello, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a feature in Boomerang for Gmail that helps you book meetings more efficiently. So you've probably heard me talk about Boomerang before. I absolutely love Boomerang. This is Boomerang for Gmail that I'm talking about. I've talked about it many times about how I use it to manage my email inbox, but they have been working on some calendar features and that's what I'm gonna be talking about in this video. So if you're interested in how I use it for email to send later to boomerang messages back, like remind me in X days if no reply, for example, you can watch other videos on my channel about that. But I'm going to be talking today about Meet and this bookable schedule. So what the bookable schedule is, is you'll see here that I have a 30 minute meeting bookable schedule already set up. You can add as many of these schedules as you want. You tell it how long a duration you want your meetings to be. So let's say that I wanna have a different one for 60 minute meetings. So I'm just gonna stick with that default 60 minute meeting title and it will rename it with the person's name and your name as well when it books the actual meeting. Let's continue. Where or how do you want your guests to meet? So you can actually connect your account. I don't have mine connected to Zoom right now, but you can connect it to Zoom to add a Zoom meeting. You can add a Google Meet meeting. And so that Google Meet will then be auto-generated, which I think is the easiest. So if you wanna do Google Meet, or of course you can have other locations like an in-person place if you're always meeting in your office, for example. And then if you want anything else for your guests to know, you can type in instructions, whatever you would like here. But I'm not gonna put anything continue. And then the last step is just to choose the calendar where you actually want to place these events on. All right, now we're getting into your availability. You can choose which calendars you want to check or uncheck to avoid double booking. So if you already have an event on your calendar, for example, that time is not going to show up for your guests. Automatically, they keep everything in sync for you. So that's really beautiful. You don't have to manage that yourself. Go ahead and continue. And then you can enter in your weekly schedule. Schedule. So like nine to five, maybe I want to change it to, I have meetings from 12 to three that day. And then you can add again. So let's say that then I have some meetings that I want to schedule from five o'clock till seven o'clock PM, for example. Okay. So that's one way to enter them all in here, but I actually like this calendar view better. I find it a little bit easier. So you'll see here that like nine to five was that default. I'm going to remove all of the Tuesday events there. And on Tuesday, instead, I'm going to say like, I have meetings from 11 to two o'clock and you can just drag it and you can say, I want to add it only this once, this one Tuesday, or I want to add it every Tuesday. And if I add it every Tuesday, you'll see that then it goes on every Tuesday from 11 to two. I have that there. So I find that the easiest way to make my meeting schedule, just choose the calendar view and then say that like on Wednesday, I don't wanna have any meetings only on this Wednesday, April 6th. I can just exit and say that I wanna remove it only the once. So it removed here, but that next Wednesday, it's still obviously there. So you can always update your availability at any time. But remember that this bookable schedule is automatically looking for any conflicting events on the calendars that you had chosen in in that previous step. So you don't have to manually manage that part. Let's continue. And then you can say how far into advance you want people to be able to book meetings with you. So you can choose like three months, you can choose days, weeks, years, or you can choose forever. Then final step, if you want to customize your URL, I'm gonna just leave it for now, then you wanna email reminder for guests, you can send it 24 hours in advance, you can do minutes, days, whatever you wanna do. Then if you need to ask people a specific question when booking, that's there too. If you need some buffer time between meetings, you can have that, and then minimum booking notice. For example, if you don't want people to be booking the day of, you can do 24 hours. And then what's really nice too, is you can have maximum booking frequency. Like you, you only want to have five meetings per day and you never want to have more than five meetings booked in a day. You can limit that there. Or even, you know, that you only want to have like 10 meetings in a week and then it will max out there. Nobody else can book you. You can do that. So I think that's really wonderful. And then you have some other features that you can see there. So let's schedule some meetings so you can see what this looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this 60 minute meeting one and I'm gonna insert it. 
And so you can see it inserts it live into the email and that's also gonna be available for your guests. And I'm gonna show you how this works on the receiver end for somebody who doesn't actually have Boomerang installed so you can see what that looks like. Now you can customize this message, but it automatically goes in there to make it a little bit easier for you. And then you can overlay your calendar as well if you want, but I've already set everything up, so I'm good to go. I'm gonna just go ahead and send this to a sample guest. Okay, so I've sent this email to somebody who does not have Boomerang installed. So here you can see I do not have the Boomerang extension installed. That's why when I go to compose, you don't see that send later or any of those additional features I was telling you before. But you'll see that it still shows all the meetings here right in this nice calendar. Now, in order to use the overlay your calendar, which is a really nice feature, you do have to have this extension installed. So that's the only feature that they wouldn't be able to use. Now they can also click on view and browser to open it up and maybe if they have a different time zone they can actually change to their time zone so that all of the times show up in actually their time zone. So that's really nice too when we're scheduling meetings with people all over the place. And then to choose a meeting, let me do it from within the email because that's the magical one. So let's say we wanna go ahead and book 5 p.m. So let's go ahead and book that. So you'll see here, you just put in your name and the email address is there. They can add more guests. They can add a note, confirm and that's it it will go to their google calendar here you can see their google calendar it went there shows a sample event and it also has that google meet link because i had requested that for my specific meetings and they can reschedule or cancel if they need to let me go back to my end now so on my end i get an email that says that somebody booked a meeting with me it has their name it has their little note there and obviously it goes on my calendar in addition let's see this was for april 11th at 5 p.m let's compose another email let's insert bookable schedule one more time for these 60 minute meetings and you'll see that the five o'clock option is now no longer there because somebody already booked it as well don't forget if something books on one of those calendars that you had been syncing with then that time slot will automatically go away as well so you don't have to keep track of it from week to week as an example of that you can see on thursday i booked nine to five and the reason that you don't see the two, three, and four o'clock time slots is because personally on my calendar right now, I actually have some meetings that run from two to 5 p.m. on that Thursday, and so that's why they're not showing up there. So anyway, that makes things so easy and manageable. You don't need to worry about keeping all of that updated yourself. It automatically syncs with your other calendars that you've told it to. All right, I think that's gonna be my overview of this boomerang feature that's called Bookable Schedule. And again, what's beautiful about it is that you need to have a boomerang account, but whoever you're booking the meetings with does not need to. And so it will automatically show up like this, this little magical embed right here into the email itself without having to open another browser, without you having to update your meeting schedule every week by checking it against your own calendar. All that magically happens. So anyway, Anyway, I hope this video was helpful and that's it for now. Bye.